in this playwright tutorial we are going to see how to take a screenshot and how to add the screenshot into the playwright test report when test failed so let's navigate to the vs code now so here i will open one of the spec file called first test.spec.js file so i will simply run the this particular test so this is a currently working test so our test will pass so it will not capture the screenshot and even if it is failed also it will not capture the screenshot and add into the playwright test report and we will see how to do that so if you see here our test is getting passed and if i open the html report so you will be not seeing any screenshot here so whenever test is getting passed or failed also so if i scroll down so there is a no screenshot and our test is getting passed so now i will make intentionally this test getting failed so i'll make this test failure so it will pass the incorrect expected value so our test will fail now because actual value and expected value is not matching So once our test got failed, so this time also it is not going to capture the screenshot. And if you see here, so our test is getting failed where it is not able to match the actual and expected value. So let's go to the report and let's refresh the report. And if you see here, so this is the expected string and this is the actual string. So it is not matching both the strings. And if I scroll down, You'll be not finding any screenshot here and here you can see that where exactly our test got failed also so let's see how to add the screenshot into the playwright test report when test is getting failed so here i will go to the playwright.config.js file and under the defined config so i will come down so there is another object called use inside this we have to add the one flag called screenshot colon and here we have to pass the value as only on failure that's it guys so this is the very simple configuration you need to do it in the playwright config file now i will go back to the our vs vs code test here that's the first test dot spec file and i will rerun the test so this time our playwright will capture the screenshot and also it will add the screenshot into the playwright test report whenever the test is getting failed. And if you see here, our test is getting failed. I will go to the report again. Then I will refresh the page. So our test is getting failed. So because of expected string and received strings are not matching and if i scroll down here you can see the step and also you can if i if i scroll down a little bit down so here you will be seeing the screenshot section under the screenshots you'll be finding the screenshot where exactly play error test is getting failed so this is how you can capture the screenshot and this is how you can add the screenshot into the playwright test report